crash, crash, party. Garbage, crash, 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 party. So here we go, Earthbound. I've never played this game. This is my first time. And I know a lot of people have been eager to see me um, go through this game for the first time. So let's fucking, let's take a look. Let's take a look. Earthbound, the war against Gygus. Well, it turns out I like UFOs. I think I'll like this game. It's just a little bit- it's imposing to start a game that's like 30 hours long, you know? And, um... I was like waiting for the right time. But I- I generally- I know I'm gonna enjoy the game. Isn't there a character named Pooh in this? Which one's Pooh? Um... I mean, this is Ness. I kinda wanna just name them their names. Paula. Godeska? What? Why- why are there people speaking to me? Is this Pooh? Or is this Steve Merchant? It's a young Steve Merchant. And that's Pooh. That's gotta be Pooh. I'm so grown up. Name your pet. King? Godeska? Yeah, sure. I I'll just- homemade food. Steak. Pie. Pasta. Oh, come on. You know what I'm gonna put here. This one I can actually do. Favorite ho- well, homemade! You know, there's- I've had good homemade pizza. So let's do fucking- let's- let's be uncreative here, and, and I'm gonna put- It's pizza. pizza. Uh, this is a very strange start to the game. The year is 1990X. See, the thing that I'm excited about is, I love UFOs. And I love... the strange and the paranormal. So I- I think I'll enjoy this. It's a very- it's a few seconds of Monty Python fly- uh, Flying Circus Horns. Okay. I'll keep an eye- well, I'll keep an ear open for the samples. It begins. Talk to- I'm- I'm talking to the table. Did you hear of the Big Bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I wanna be the first to see it, okay? I'm gonna try to be the first to get there. You're doing a good job. Just, uh, just keep doing that. Here, I'll even take a sip of my coffee while you're doing it. Oh, you haven't moved. I told you this was gonna happen before the year ended. Which was <laughs> probably not my most uh, proud moment. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. Just, it's late. Scoot off to bed now. Scoot, did you say? Scoot the bird. I'm just gonna bring Pokey to my room. Play some video games. Ness answered the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. The absentee dad makes an appearance. I'm- I'm here for you, but only by phone. Me and your mother. Well, it got weird. Let's just say that knocking on the door wasn't actually knocking. King growled and lunged forward, 9 HP of damage to the Spiteful Crow. The spiteful Crow became tame. I think I just killed it. I don't know if about- I don't know about tame. I think it's dead. Meth! Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? No. Oh, come on! You must hear it! Sound is done incredibly well in this game. Space B. Well, rest in peace, chat. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. So that's two of the Triforce, and then friendship, which is definitely... I mean, the, the Triforce of friendship. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Could you imagine if Ganon's Triforce, Triforce was the Triforce of friendship? It'd be a very different game. Hello, Link, it is I, Ganon. I have the third Triforce piece. The Triforce of friendship. I just wanted to be friends, Zelda. And then you just keep stopping me every time, Link. We were this close to becoming friends. I, I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. <laughs> 
No shit. I'm fading fast. Oh. Oh, by the way, one more thing before I die. Can you kill the clown lady for me? That fucking face is gonna haunt me forever. Pictures taken instantaneously. How do pickles get fuzzy? Oh, you- I know how they get fuzzy. Put them in the fucking trash, and then they start growing fuzz. It's called mold. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no problem here. Just stopping traffic. Where'd you come from, dog? Where'd you come from? That's dug around in the trash can. Oh, let's see here. There's a hamburger inside. Oh, this is my kind of game. Trash, trash, trash. Start eating garbage. Trash. Uh, come to the hospital right away. As long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend. Now, this is America, right? This game is it. So the doctor's fee is what? Seventy thousand dollars. That's cool. No, I- I like- I want to live in debt for the rest of my life, that's cool. Come on, can't you at least say your name? <laughs> this sprite. This music. He's got knives. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to do this. Mm. Looks like I won't be able to do this. My armpits smell like tamales. Okay, that's enough chat for one day. How is- 69. How is, um, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm an adult. Only butterflies and fruity juice can make me relax. This is your first sanctuary location. It's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Titanic Ant. You're fucking going down, dude. You're going down. Fuck you. Each time, each time I did that fight, I was so close to killing him. Ness caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. What? Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. No problem here. It's just a fucking one singular giant footprint, which I'm assuming is a jape. Someone came up here with a shovel and just did this. Because there's no way there would just be one footprint. Like a giant, right? A giant, like, Bigfoot dude. Came from space. Landed on one foot on the Earth, and then did a giant leap onto another planet. That's it. So he landed from one planet, and he used Earth as a stomping, like a stepping stone, so he could jump off the Earth and get to a different planet. That's- that is the only reasonable explanation. I would know. I'm a conspiracy master. I'm ready to... Beat the shit out of animals. Police station. Okay. So the police station, police station, police station. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Wait, what the hell is this kind of shit? Police brutality! Hey, small fry, you must be shaking in your boots. What the fuck is this? This is not a professional police officer. <laughs> Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Fat boy? Oh, you fucker. Who the fuck are these cops? Pretty much just cops beating up a child right now. To be fair, you did just eat a burger in the middle of a fight with a cop. Alright, you're not wrong. Get ready for my super ultra mambo tango foxtrot martial arts. Is it... Alright then. This- this would be a good time for a shield, I think. I'm gonna fuck- he just grappled me. Again, I'm not sure if this is- this is not cool. This is not like a real cop. Mother dick. Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong to let you through. Take care of yourself. Why are you guys blocking this road anyway? You guys are kind of weird. Oh god, I'm choking on a Frito. This is the end. Fritos! 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 Enemies look like humans with weird colored faces. What kind of color? What are you talking about? Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow! What the f- oh, fuck. <laughs> New Age Retro Hippie. 
the Runaway Five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for 100 years. Thanks, you seem very nice. I wonder if, um... Carl! Maybe you'd like to invest some money in my inventions? Mountains are nice. Fuck that sweet asshole. I can just picture, like, nine-year-old me playing this. What the fuck does any of this shit mean? That's what I sounded like at nine, confirmed. Fine sauce, why don't you ever show your face? Are you ugly? Just show it once. I hate you. How did that... I never wanted to show my face. Uh, fine. I can't live a lie. Here's me. <laughs> then would you make out with Tommy Wiseau for $10,000? Quality chat. Quality chat and questions from the chat. <laughs> Pizza. 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 These fucking aliens are gonna give me a, a fucking cold. Yep, got a cold. Fucking aliens gonna give me a fucking cold. Can you tell I'm from New York? Fuck the trees. I was reading the chat, and now I'm fighting a tree. Who the fuck is this fucking purple KKK member? Okay. Insane cultists. And the insane cultist turned back to normal, so insane cultist is now just cultist. Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore, I knew you would rescue me. Hey, Ness. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? Mm, you can call me Master Pokey. Since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism, you should join us, but I knew you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. When did Pokey become a cunt? He stayed and watched. The little shithead. Vinny abandoned the cookie, just like my father abandoned me. I'm sorry, Plex. You're gonna be okay. Just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. Oh, fuck off. When I painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife, who had run out on me, returned home. Mr. Carpenter was... Well, maybe he had something to do with that. Oh, look. It's that golden calf thing. Thanks for coming by. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my, my left would be just fine. Eh, just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Well, fuck, it's never been put quite like that before. Your existence is a problem for me. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. Nah, son, I got a Franklin badge. Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. What a horrible nightmare. I, I somehow woke up... Oh, hang on a second, it's Pokey. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up and asked me to be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Okay. <laughs> I lied. See you, sucker. Alright, fuck you, Pokey. I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. You know what to say. Fuzzy pickles! Okay, here it is. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Whoa! It's like bloody. Fucking Christ, look at that thing. It's just buffing its offense. It's gonna kill anything in one hit if it ever gets out of paralysis. Or, or, or that. He's vulnerable to fire. Okay. Well, too late now. Now he's fucking vulnerable to death. I guess we found out his weakness. Death. Perhaps a UFO?
Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. What? <laughs> Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Lilliput steps. And a jar of hot sauce. A full jar. A bat was holding a jar of hot sauce. I love video games. Yeah, I'm all about killing animals. And telling me I'm, like... Like, an asshole? For the record, I like frogs and, and all other animals. They're beautiful. What, because I beat up a mole with a baseball bat? I'm a small child beating animals with a bat. I don't know, frogs are pretty cool people. I just don't like geese. Frogs are fine. Geese, no. So, Mono, I heard you were, um, a little sick. Mono. Mono has mono. Mono. Mono's monogamist. Mono. Mono. Mononucleosis. Monopolist. Monochromatic. Monopoly. Mono means monkey in Spanish. Monotony. Mononoblade. Lucky of the Runway 5. Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you... Take me with you, please, please, please. Okay, composer's your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. Wait, what? Did you see those people about to neck? They were gonna neck. Looks like they're gonna neck. La la, Mimi, I'm tone deaf. My daughter brought me here. Oh, oh wait, that's your daughter. Oh fuck, whoops. So I'm gonna assume that to get to Threed, I need to ride their tour bus, right? Let's go to Threed. A tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. What the fuck are you talking about? It's too loud for any ghosts to bother us? Pretty cool music there. No way a ghost can bother us now. Nah, they don't care. It's just, they just get annoyed. Well, this town looks a bit like a shithole. <sighs> looks like we have to say goodbye for now. The town seems pretty gloomy. I'm sure you could light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag. Of you actually don't have anything I need, but thanks for the effort. Clowns? And now, the sound of Ness rubbing against the microphone. Spoopy. Oh, oh. That's my spoopy voice. Oh fuck, what is this? Living trash? It's me! Look at these trash creatures, I love them. They're my, my favorites. Putrid Moldy Man is a cunt, isn't he? Fart step. You know, sometimes I get candy in my P.O. box, sometimes I get two red dildos. Uh... You never know. You never know. It's, it's always... It's always an adventure, it's always a mystery. Okay. What the hell? What happened to the music? What... Are you... Are we gonna... Do some things? Oh my god, it was a trap! <laughs> oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? They threw me in a fucking cave. Winters, a small country to the north. Where's Vigibum? You hear Jeff? <laughs> Jeff, I'm calling out to you. Snowwood boarding house. Now I'm another character. I now I'm really Steven Merchant. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. Well, what's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some reason that I don't understand. Thank you, Tony. That's very nice of you to just believe me that I was telepathically communicated to in a dream. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubblegum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he will cost you a buck. So do you want him? Yes. The monkey is yours. Why do I now own a monkey? What the fuck? Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubblegum from Jeff and blew a bubble. Okay, well now I own a monkey. 
Yak! Yak! Or goat, sorry, it's a goat. Is this a stealth segment? This looks like a stealth segment. It's not a stealth section, they're just looking for a Tessie. The cock nest monster. Give me some gum now, I'll take care of everything. Okay. It's real. Holy shit, it's fucking Lapras. No, it's the- it's the thing from Mario 64. Well... That copied this. A dignified creature. Look at its face. <laughs> its fucking face. Son. That duck is beautiful. I've seen that duck before, by the way. I've seen that fucking duck gif. Ducks and trash. This game has your favorite types of enemies. Will we see clowns? We haven't seen clowns yet, but trust me, I'm keeping an eye out. However, that is that is a, a very charismatic... It really does look like a very charismatic duck, doesn't it? Is a terribly charismatic... Stop! <sighs> These fucking mice. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, I had a frog in my throat. Oh, well, this is a thing. Bublet monkey. Now she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. Wait. Stone Ange, the magical journey. Stone Ange, do you think those monkeys are having it away right now? It's almost 4 a.m. And they're on to me, dude. Those guys are sharp as nails. They're on to me, dude. Put those guys on to me, dude. Those guys are sharp as nails. 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 Who? My son? Oh, I can't. I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe ten years since I last saw you. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in ten years or so. Alright. We'll get into the uh, Skyrunner, aka Flying Saucer. Well, it's more like a ball. Whoa, graphics. There's so much graphics happening right now. Whoa, nice graphics! Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner, I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing, I'm Jeff. Hey, you notice how Jeff now is speaking for the first time? When you control the character, they don't speak. It's you. But when you don't control the character, they can say whatever they want. Where did this tent come from? What the fuck is this? Georg? Why am I fighting a giant tent? Vulnerable to fire. I mean, it makes sense. You think about it. What's a tent's number one enemy? Fire. Second, knives. Third, I guess meteorites. <laughs> plain old garbage in the trash can. Just plain old garbage. It's never just plain old garbage. Okay, there are plenty of valuable items that combine to create garbage. Garbage is not a thing. Garbage does not exist. If only I had a ruler and a protractor. Right, guys? Right? Remember how I- the, the travesty of me getting rid of the ruler and the protractor? People were like, freaking out. Oh! Oh! Why'd you get rid of it? You need! And then I found out there was no need for the items whatsoever. Vinny, if you had one piece of life advice to give chat, what would it be? One word? Okay. Eat. Breathing is optional. I wouldn't worry too much about breathing. Wow. A lot of dead zombies. Zombie paper really works. So I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. <laughs> You're the enemy of all zombies, you monster. 
We're, um, schlock clowns. And, um... Jape monkeys. Since you had fly, honey, I considered you a friend. I'm actually, uh, but actually, you're just a commoner. Uh, I'm the mortal enemy of your kind. I don't know why it was so hard for me to read. It's a mini barf. Mini barf is the human mortal enemy. Got it. <laughs> We're all crying because it made a fucked up noise. It just went. Ah. My name is Ziggy Sawdust. And I'm here to clean up the bath. The bath! So that little ghost that is circling around Ness prevented Paula from attacking just now. Ghost confirmed for assholes. Hi ho, me, Mr. Saturn! This place, all are Mr. Saturn! So now I finally get to figure out what the fuck a Mr. Saturn is. Been playing Smash Brothers for 57 years. I know what a Mr. I know what it looks like. I just didn't know what it was. I am Dr. Saturn Zoom, and I can repair your body preble. Doing. What the fuck is this voice? It, I think it's Mr. Saturn. We look like same. Oh, I feel like a bit of a twat for doing this. This Mr. Saturn voice. What you know? Okay, you may enter. This Bruce will fly, honey. Oh, it's Master Belt's favorite. Yes. Okay, you may pass through. Hey, be careful. Be sure you don't drop it. It's one of DeVito's friends. Living trash slime. I was playing Counter-Strike with some young children. Chillins. And they were actually really nice and really good at the game, and they played together as a team, and they were quiet, and they didn't screech. And I found out they were like 13. I was like, wow, that gives me, you know, hope for Bab. And I'm- I'm really proud to be a member of this team. Well, I played a game today with 15-year-olds. All hope out the window once again. The whole conversation was Harambe. Um... Dabbing. Like, basically every meme. Like, they were giving order, like, go to B. Go to B. Like, like, B movie. The one time I thought we were actually coordinating as a team, it was still just a B-movie meme. No problem here. What is this, Lard Factory? Oh, uh, so the, the Mr. Saturns are enslaved in a Lard Factory. I think. What's this? Jeff is dead. Oh, that's cool. This is a cool fight. I hate it. Vinny, please play Pong. Okay. Uh, so... You and that's... No, I see. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gargos. Hig. Hig. You made me laugh so hard. If Master Gargos is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. Garg. I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. <laughs> get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. Come on, let's go. Wow. 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 It's over, Master Belch. I have the high ground. It's a good thing I finished that fight before Paula died. Ooh, looks like it was an even fight. What? But Master Gargus has managed to get the money money statue into foresight. <laughs> The city will soon be in a worse condition than living in your own puke. <laughs> Suffer, Spanky. <laughs> Alert! Paula's condition is critical. Okay. Fucking give me a chance! Um, Dad, how come you and Mom aren't together? Huh? I don't know anything about that, son. I'm just here to save your game. If you work too hard, you, you might- you might have a conniption. Uh, uh. Son, I'm actually not real. I mean, have you ever really- have you ever met me? No, no. I was a telephone this whole time. I'm sorry, your mother was conceived by the telephone. That sentence did not make any sense. Incoming! Wow, that hot spring just gets rid of every bullshit. 
Oh look, it's a thing. It's one of those those caves that, that I have to go to. But I, I can't fucking get there because my controls are all fucked up. Come on, Ness! What are you doing? You finally got here. This is the third of your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Who's this? Trillionage sprout? It just looks like dirt trash. <laughs> Yay, I did it! Ness thought he heard his mother from far away. She said, Be a thoughtful, strong boy. See, this is what I would have learned lessons from this game. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. Vinny, why does that look like someone violently shitting liquid? Well... So at the moment... So I need... Mr. Baseball Bat. This is good for killing animals. Skok! Skok! There's a sign in the desert that says desert. Thank you. That's good. I want you to think of a small child beating the shit out of a cranky old lady with a baseball bat in the middle of the street. And how no one even... Forgive the pun, bats an eye at this. Hmm. Wow, that looks weird. What do you mean? What do you mean I'm fighting a cab? And I just won instantly. Wait a minute. No, I wanted to see that. I want to see how these three children were able to beat the shit out of a cab easily. I'm Big Brother Pancho. I'm Kid Brother Pincho. I'm Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> what? Get up back here. Fuck. No, no, I fucking had it. It ran away. I heard this is this is good experience. Ah! Ah! I, d I don't want to even attack this thing. Fucking god damn it! Got it. I just I didn't know that was a thing. This caterpillar is a real motherfucker, isn't it? Quick! Quick! <laughs> Mm. So you have to take the item from Paula in order to use it. On Paula. I, I gotcha. Because she's dead, she's not able to use the items. You, you're fucking- now you're cornered. Now you're cornered. Look how much experience it gives, it's insane. It's amazing. Totally worth it. Fuck out of here, yak! It's a buffalo. All right, it's a buffalo. This elevator is only for Master Pokey's use. What the fuck? Goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Master Pokey? What do you mean, Master Pokey? Are you a friend of Master Pokey? So, so now Pokey's involved with the Mafia. What the Christ has happened? No fucking way. Ooh la la, this is my poor old friend. Ah, uh, what's your name? Pig's butt? Oh, no, 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 Ness. Mm, didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la, you don't recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey, get it? I'm now Geldegard Monotoli's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. I heard there were some ratty looking kids asking for Monotoli. Is that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser! I hate him. Well, unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf, you have to find buried gold. You would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. These fuckers keep owing people money. What the hell? What are they doing that they owe this much money all the time? Well, my soap opera is getting to a really steamy part, so I'd better let you go. Wait, what? I don't- that's- no. Yeah, no, no, no comment on the fact that walking nooses are trying to kill me. That's fine. At this point in Earthbound... At this point... I'm not even surprised that this is an enemy. This game has conditioned me for weird. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are mole- all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. 
So there's five bosses. Number three? Oh my. I'm really the third strongest master. I'll destroy you now. Wait a minute. Is this, is this a jape? My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest masters. Do you want to test me? <laughs> what? Another one? Mad Taxi. Why does it have eyes? This is a Pix- this is not a Pixar movie. I didn't read the text, I'm sorry. I, let me guess, this guy th it thinks he's number three? <laughs> you fought the strongest master of this hole. The second strongest master of this hole. The fourth and the weakest. I'm truly the third strongest. Now you see the true advantage of being third. Okay. And got rid of the monster, good job. Okay, from here on, let me just dig. You'll see, I'll find buried gold. Oh, right, last time on Earthbound, I got my entire team killed. What is this? Please don't be shouting and yelling at me. I am super nervous, like with the doing. And I am to ex like to expunge my bowls because I just get so terrible frightened and there's a mess where my grandmam gets so much mad at me and wallops me with a broom. Alright, that's enough chat for one night. That, that, that diamond, you're gonna, you're gonna pay with that diamond? Uh, okay, that's fine, I'll, I'll rip up this contract. RIP! Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Oh no, the Runaway Five are free! You should thank me. That diamond is worth maybe, maybe $50. So I gave you a bargain. So we already watched a few Runaway 5 shows, but we, we got another one. It's gonna be a great show. We're so good it makes me m moi- Oh, I was almost right. Think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. Those kids are hip, baby! Do we have to watch the show again? Oh no. Don't make me hurt so- what the fuck is this? Your cute sexy thing, you baby sing to me, sing to me, baby Venus. What? Oh, this- this is- is this a phone sex line? Did you know there's a status in the game that wasn't discovered until years later? It's a very- you- you hardly notice it. You know how you get homesick? Ness gets homesick, right? Well, you also have to go to the bathroom every now and then. It's very, very, very rare and unknown until years later. And it only really affects your pee pee. That's about it. So I'm gonna go to the bathroom here in the hotel. Here it is. Alright, we good. That was a weird cutscene. I'm not really sure what Larry David was doing in Earthbound back in 1995. That's very strange. Are you proud of yourself? Never. No, not really. What? What?! What the fuck? Your attention, please, with the customer from on it, Mr. Ness. Please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. Fuck. Well, that caught me by surprise. I, I didn't get a chance to buy the things I wanted to buy. Fuck. Presents. <laughs> what? No, no. What the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! This is the- but so far this might be my favorite enemy in the game. Just today, I spilled, like, hot coffee on myself, because the, the- the lid of the cup was loose, and I got it on my leg, on my shirt, on a little bit of my car seat. It was fucked! Boppity boop, boppity boopity bop, boppity boop, deli. Know what I mean? Kinda pissed that Paula got kidnapped. I don't know if I've stated my distaste for that move, but that was a bad move. <laughs> Fuck out of here with that shit. Go, Ness! Go! Pure! Yes! It's a little bit. It'll help, though. What the fuck are you? Finally made it. This environment star is gonna be your grave. You'll be gone. You'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. Wait, go to heaven? What? It's a, it's a department store spook. It's spooky. Yeah. Yeah, Jeff! Jeff is gonna be the MVP of this fight. I, I know it. Oh, never mind. We just won. Alright.
Oh, shit. When did this happen? He doesn't look like a nice man. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to go like that. I'm glad it wasn't me. There's a person lying on the ground. I wonder if he's... he's... Oh, I don't like seeing a corpse around here. Oh, that is morbid. There it is. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, that's right. I am the host here. Yes, that's wrong. I am the hostess here. What? Foresight? Are you still sleeping? This is Moonside. What? What? Robo pump? I'm fighting a gas station gas pump. How could you not love this game? Just fight a fucking flying painting real quick. Abstract art. Is this game taking the piss out of art now? Dolly's clock? That's awesome. What the fuck am I reading? I will send you first and then you second to the hospital. Oh fuck, what? Uh... <laughs> um... What, what is this? Again? That's happening here in this, in this game? I agree, Golden. This is the best corruption stream I've ever done. Do you know whose bones are on display here? The answer is... Your bones. My bones. Bones, bones. Bone, bone, bone. <laughs> this game is definitely... <laughs> a little ahead of its time. Because I see that shit on the internet. Hello, and goodbye. No. Oh, fuck! I'm not good at opposite day. The Money Money statue was actually a device that created illusions. The illusion device was destroyed. Huh. That explains a lot. You were wandering around the warehouse with a vacant, faraway look in your eyes. Were you daydreaming? Wait a second. You mean to tell me, this whole time, none of that was real? And I was... I was daydreaming. Earthbound 3, back to the fucking desert. Poo flavored yogurt. This someone in chat just wrote, This experience is so fucking maximum. I'm here to give you the maximum experience of both my voice, my body, <laughs> and, and Earthbound. This room is entirely golden. Stop! That's enough! Please stop! I give up! I really do! Ness, you finally made it here. I'm fine. I believed you'd come and save me. Mr. Monotoli isn't really a bad person. Just so take some time to listen to him. That wall on the left looks not suspicious, so I'm gonna ignore it. I like this helicopter. It's a yellow helicopter. Oh. Ness, you pinheaded idiot. You're just a half step too slow. I'm getting out of here. Since Monotoli's become a plain old man again, I have no more use for him. This helicopter will really come in handy. Looks like you're the world-class loser again. You... Skunt. Pokey took the helicopter. I hope he's okay. I- I don't. These children walking around with $50,000 in cash. Has an ocean view and the sunsets are beautiful. Yeah, sure. Take some time and relax. I'd love to, can you get out of my doorway? Who lives here, Dirt McGurk? Ah, uh, don't, not, not now! Don't take a picture of me in my squalid, fucking disgusting, beaten down, broken ass house. Oh, since it's an emergency, I'll lead you to the hospital with my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not, asked the officer. Uh, well... Let's, let's get going, said the officer. No, 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 we can't. This baby is a demon child. Finally got here. This is the fourth Your Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. <laughs> oh. Shro to shroom. It's, it's, it's- this is great. I can already see the art for this. B 
what is what is this? It's just raining in one spot. Is is that the mystery? Usually these things are associated with like conspiracies or mysteries. It's the the golden showers. Ness caught a whiff of pizza, but just for a second. It's my story. The rainy circle. So this is how Jeff's bed keeps getting wet. I was gonna skip it this time, but if you really want to hear the music. But don't you just feel like so edged? Someone in chat just wrote, I'll finish it for you. Spoilers ahead. And then he wrote, do, 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 do. <laughs> do I like jazz? I like jazz live. You like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? You like jazz? Actually, I listen to jazz on this talking about, like, um, it's right in videos. Uh, culture, like, uh, I like, um, this is quite a few jazz things, but I don't really like something like my first genre. I'm not sure at home. I don't really like a lot of jazz. I don't really like jazz. Wait, this isn't Ness's home, is it? That's Pokey's house. Can I take a, um, can I, like, brick in his bed? Like, under his pillow case? <laughs> I have the braised boa over minced baby leeks. Oh, you're not the waiter. That sounds... That sounds disgusting! Pizza? Please, we do not have such trash on our menu. What did you fucking say? What?! You broke my grill?! Pizza and trash in the same sentence. Would you register your name, please? Don't spell your name wrong. What, like me? Kodeska? Why are people freaking out? I just put binyot in. Seeing chicks makes you happy. Biting their heads off makes you Ozzy Osbourne. I nut you nut. Beat the fuck out of a taxi with a baseball bat. <laughs> Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. Are we going back to Moonside? Ness had a dream. It was a very clear and very strange dream. Wait a minute. Is this where Pooh resides? I can tell because... The ramparts look like Pooh. The palace of Pooh. The crown prince. You did see that the, the fucking... The designs of this place kind of look like crap, don't you? Prince Pooh. The time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the place of emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Pooh Palace. Prince Pooh, you're my favorite. Gee, Prince Pooh, why oh, you're such a hunk? Oh, you got me, John. So Holy shit, what the fuck are you? Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I'm going to break your legs. You will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Yes. So, oh, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the crows. The taking of your arms, do you accept this? Yes. You do not mind me taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? It's fine. I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? Yes. So, Prince Pooh. Now I can only communicate directly with your mind. I will take your mind, Pooh. You know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. I still don't want to move. Am I still training? What is- when does the- the training end? There's a dude who got this game when it first came out who's still standing here to this day. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life is in your hands. Ness is just like, yeah, uh, alright. It's 
face. Stupid face. I'm gonna punch it in its face. This rat has a punchable face. I got a few shitty items. And some levels and experience for Pooh, so it, it was worth it. Pooh got experience in the sewer. This is your fifth, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me. If you dare. I think this is the quickest we've gone from one to the other. Oh my lord. Plague Rat of Doom. Also looks like a right cunt. What, what, what are you looking for on Bing? That's, that's the Bing guy's face. It turns out this whole time he was a rat. <laughs> Which is why he's been trying to like push the rat porn on you. The fuck is that? Giant salt? Did I play Mario Kart here? No! Ness saw a baby's bottle, but just for an instant. Ness... Ness a soundstone recorded the melody of a magnet... of Magnet Hill. <laughs> what is this? What is this enemy? It's so fucking weird. It's playing a little flute. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just people getting electrocuted. I love that an enemy in this game is a stinky trash can. There's fucking dirty hippies. There's people getting electrocuted. There's coffee. Hot coffee. You finally got here. This is the sixth your sanctuary location. Man, we are making progress on these sanctuaries. Fuck. This thing. Thunder and storm. Wow, that fight went very well. Ness had a short vision of seeing his mother when she was young. He's seeing his childhood. Oh god. This music. I like this music quite a bit. <laughs> Here it comes! Just looks like the piranha plant from Mario Sunshine. Oh, now it doesn't. Oh, fuck! Even shields don't protect against hurt feelings. Oh no! Oh man, I thought you guys were just everyday little kids, but you defeated the Kraken. Ah, oh, I love transporting little kid corpses. Let us know if you find any scorpions. It's very unlikely that they will come out, but you never can tell. Oh, that sounds good. I'm supposed how much am I spending for a fucking potential scorpion? Here, let's let's buy this bat so that I may smash more animals. So I'm being told it's Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, gotcha. There you go, Jeff. There, fuck you, Jeff! Oh, that's- I'm actually fighting a fucking hieroglyph, I like that. Not any hieroglyph, mind you, but a fucking hieroglyph. I think I curse a lot. We finally meet Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So now it's time to show you the way of the Star Storm. For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here, even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while, do you understand? It is important that I study and learn the Star Storm. It will be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I will see you again. So, here, I'm, I'm a bald, creepy tornado guy. Come with me, child. And t and come with me and live with me for a certain amount of time, and I, I I'll teach you something, fam. I swear. Welcome. You are inside of my body. Uh, it's Vinny's three favorite things: what, music, coffee, and a butt plug. <laughs> I'm, we don't have poo, but we have a teddy bear now. It's a poo bear, if you will. Oh my God, a hundred and. Sixteen thousand dollars. That's more than my life is worth, so... It's nice to see that a group of babs have that, that much money. Okay, welcome back to Earthbound. I was inside of a dude last time I was uh, playing the game. Mommy, I need the Star Wars cucumber. Okay... What? Well, why? What does that have anything to do with Star Wars, honey? Hello, man. What now? Oh, that's nice, honey. Um, do you- I'm sorry, you need shampoo? R2-D2 shampoo? Oh my god. Dudes, follow me around? Uh-oh, photos taken instantaneously! 
Scrongy Cockles! Ness, Jeff, and Dead Girl. It will take you to the submarine. Don't make a mistake on which exit you take. You'll need to take the goodbye exit. <laughs> the, the goodbye exit, also known as the rectum. Thank you, Salad Dongs, for your valuable contribution to chat. You have won yourself a golden kazoo. Check the mail in four to five years, and you may receive it. It makes me sound so good. It makes me sound so strong. My voice is thick. Look at this. Oh, big <laughs> Yeah, look at the face on this fucking thing. It is a marvel of the universe. I don't want to fight it, like, I just want to marvel. Demonic Petunia. Two words you never really thought you'd hear together. And then you'd never thought you'd hear it with a voice crack in between as well. But I deliver the goods. Oh, Paul. Paul, I'm about to die. Do it. Pew! Oh shit! Pew! Who's here? Pew! Piusa. Oh, Apple Kid. Uh, Doctor Andonuts's lab in Winters. Doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm working on my eraser, eraser machine. Oh my god. Hey! Oh no! What are you doing to me? Who are you? There's no reason for cheese to be on top of the bun. Cheese goes on top of the protein part of the burger because the heat makes the cheese all melty and delicious and your hands don't have to touch the cheese and get sticky and gross. There's a reason this formula works, KFC. You don't have to fuck with it. We don't need cheese on top of the burg. So I'm, I'm really proud of Apple Kid for making such esoteric and specific inventions. Good for him. Pro tip, they are billions of people who don't know who Vine Sauce is. Correct. And specifically talking about people watching the stream that had not watched the stream before, so you are correct, good sir. Billions of chances for people to hear me talk about Danny DeVito's tits. Hello, can breathe. Oh no. They've been abducting. Jeff, where is Jeff? Can't breathe. Apple Kid. The hippie. It's just like Star Trek. All right, let's get rid of that fucking shield. Wait a minute. Did it just reactivate its shield? The one I just got rid of? Fucking cock this thing is. At least I'm doing damage to it while this is happening, at least. At least, at least. Yeah, and I didn't even have to use the rockets. I was going to if I got into a real... like, pinch, pickle, jam, whatever. Here's some puke. And here's Earthbound. Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius! I do say so myself! Okay! Get ready for instant memory! Look at the camera, ready? Hey, fuzzy pickles! What a great photograph! You'll always bring back the fondest of memories! Hey, you. I have a happy little question for you. Binut. Binut. What? <laughs> Are you sure this is the correct player's name? If it's not right, you can change it. Oh, that really confused the fuck out of me. <laughs> I remember now I entered the word bin binyot earlier when I first started the game. Um, so should I change it? Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy looks like that one picture of John Lennon. You know the one. I do know the one. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck did John even get into that pose? It was a little bit off. Ness saw a vision of his father holding him. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the hall. Wow. That was interesting. Fucking dinosaur times? Am I gonna be able to return to that cave? I feel like I missed stuff in the cave. Uh, son, where are you calling from? The reception is not so good. 
Oh, I'm in, uh, dinosaur prehistoric underground land. Um, I'm basically in the hollow earth right now. Is it any good? Is it any good, I say? It's called the ultimate bat. Fuck, we're gonna fight fucking fire now? Soul-consuming fire. Here, let me hit it with a baseball bat real quick. That'll take care of it. Psychic Psycho. <laughs> They're on fire! You finally got here. Here it is. Take it from me if you dare. Carbon dog, huh? Okay, carbon dog. Let, let me show you how I handle carbon dogs. 1414. A rainbow of colors. What? Oh. Jeff, what the fuck? Oh no, Jeff. What the fuck is going on? What have you done? Baby volcano. Ness had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Okay. Suddenly black and white. Baby Ness? Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He smiled just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. It's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some pizza. Fuck yeah. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker, just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Ah, uh, so last time I played this game, we were in Ness's fucking mind. Let's be friends forever. No, I don't think we can be friends, Pokey. You've been a dick to me. Even- even memory po- well, memory Pokey's kinda nice. What the fuck are these? Like, luchador fucking birds? Oh fuck, what? You remember the French kiss of death. It's almost a face! Fuck. If it was just a little bit to the left, those lips. Cool battle. Cool, Mr. Molecule. Go fuck yourself. I don't know what's happening. I'm the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you are the one who forced me into being. Oh shit. Oh no! Good fucking ch- Oh my god! I did it! Wow! Um... What, what, what? What, what are you- What's happening here? Uh... Wow, Ness is getting fucking supercharged. This is what happens when you free your mind. Turn off your mind, relax and float downstream. It is not dying. It is not dying. I got like really swole. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. I, I like that. You had to go into your mind to get more powerful. Man, th this game is pretty, pretty great. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. You think they're happy being next to a fucking volcano? So yeah, Ness is beastly. <laughs> Ness is fucking really powerful now. And on it is, um, is under the control of Empress Zod. So, um, this is my room, everyone. Sorry, my bed's a mess. Um, I just kind of have some books. And, like, pick up sticks. And, um, like, jacks. Yeah, um, it's kind of 
fucking boring. Something shiny that you can reach. Yes. Who added the meteorite piece to Ness's stuff? Well, I don't have enough for teleport. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a murder squad down there. Cool fucking murder squad. This is like earthbound insanity mode. And thus, Pooh's short life came to an end. But wait! There's more! But wait! Holy shit. I can't believe it! Clutch your kick, motherfuckers! Oh no! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Fucking dead again! Apple kid looking smug as ever. Is this all you need is love, Valley? Yes, it is. Is he making like perfect body doubles? Cause that's weird. Why do you know how to do this, dude? What are you doing with this technology, dude? Well, here we go. Oh no, they look pretty different. Oh, this is creepy. Hmm. 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 Emperor Palpatine herpes. So this, this, you know, I have a feeling Chrono Trigger took some influence from this game. But yeah, this is, um, I've seen, I've seen pictures of this. And, uh, it looks like something very medical. So creepy. This is really, really creepy. Uh, hello. Ness. It's fucking pokey. Did I really call this? Did I said this at like a few streams ago as a joke. Ness, are you surprised? It's me, really pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's pokey. You guys look pathetic. The apple of enlightenment has already made a prediction, but I won't let what the apple of enlightenment predict take place. You guys will be beaten by Gigas. I guess will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led here by Gygus, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gygus, no, Gygus is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on its own. He is the evil power. But it's Ness in the very vaginal and anal looking thing. Wow. Maybe it's just looking at Ness. It's not actually Ness. I don't I don't know. It's kind of cool though. Whatever's happening here. Okay. Um Oh shit. Got crazy. It's some pretty cool music. Oh, this music is badass. The the thing didn't destroy the shield. Oh, Ness is getting fucking destroyed right now. Uh, I understand you guys are already claiming to be heroes. Well, it is a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Genghis. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygus looks like. If you were to ever see Gygus, you'd be so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the devil's machine? Well, prepare to be amazed! So, isn't it terrifying? And terrified too! I just cannot think rationally anymore, and he isn't even aware of what he's doing now! What an almighty idiot! Yeah, that's what he is. <laughs> you, you will be just another meal to him! Good. Start the battle with the... Uh, the death. 
Hmm, jeez, this is fucking creepy. Yes, you cannot grasp the true power of Gygus' attack. Yep. Yep, that is correct, Ness. It's calling out to Ness. You're back! I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will soon end. Just try to call for help. I got nothing with Paula. Okay, what what's this? What, um, did I genuinely just trigger a cutscene by accident? Uh, apparently this is what you had to do? Oh! Well, that's interesting. I don't have any PP as Paula. I was gonna just, just, I was just seeing what would happen. What? Well, that's pretty fucking cool. Alright, um, friends. Go back. What the fuck? Okay, I'm really confused, but I'm now very invested. We got another. Can I pray again? I. Ri it's the fucking Blues Brothers. I genuinely did not know this was a thing. That's why I closed chat so long ago. I did not want anything spoiled about Gygus. I had only ever seen the 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 pick the, the the where you walk, the weird kind of walkway because there were some game theories on what Gygus is. I'm gonna kind of keep praying because it seems interesting. At the very least, we'll get to see some cool stuff. It hurts Ness. Ness. I'm happy. Okay, this is not a baby game. This game is making me feel weird things. It is genuinely disturbing. Well, are you happy or are you sad, Gygus? Like, I'm gonna need more information here. This music is genuinely uncomfortable. Suddenly, Nessa's mother felt terribly uneasy and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. That might have been the death blow. Oh, wait, no, no, we're just in a... a, a phase of, uh... Bitrate getting destroyed on Twitch and corruption. Yeah, this would have been a weird game to play at the age of nine, which is when it came out for me. <laughs> this would have been a very weird game to play. I don't know what kind of human I would have been. Touch the heart of N and prayed for the kids having never even met them before, huh? Oh, okay, praying works again. I, Y, kept praying. Oh, okay. Vinny kept praying. Okay. Okay, H hang on a minute. So that's why you input your name. Ness. No, oh, well, it seems like I'm running away. It's going to seem like that, but perhaps I'll just sneak away into another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we'll see each other again. All right, I'll be seeing you. So now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Whoever did this soundtrack is- is insane. Love it. it. It is a very, very bizarre soundtrack. But it's so appropriate. The war against Gygus is over. Unless their souls return to their bodies. And... Once their bodies... Regained control... They learned that they could indeed move their bodies with no limitations. No longer tied down. That sounds really good. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy, King, and I are waiting for you. Your dad's still an asshole, and it said be kidnapping is wrong. Oh, okay. So uh, the, the journey ended when Ness unexpectedly got hit by a truck. Hang on, I hear a weird noise. No, it's just guy, I guess. I should really go home. I shouldn't just be out here wandering here and there. Don't you think so? No. Well, okay. I guess I would like to be with you a little longer. <laughs> Mom, make me some chicken tendies! <laughs> there it is. There's the... The stuff. The good stuff. Look at that face. Don't get- get pokey out of here. There's Buzz Buzz. Yeah, f get out of here, pokey. You, you suck. I, I told pokey to get out of here and then he ran away. 
you know, I think this, I think about this music sometimes since I start playing this game. Every now and then this melody will pop up in my head. Thank you. Mr. Iwata for making this game actually come out. Iwata actually, um, didn't he like, he's, I think I talked about this in an earlier stream, but he saved the programming of this game when he had to rewrite the code and he was able to like completely rewrite the code to get the game to even work. But yeah, this game was awesome. I genuinely loved it. And it was nice to experience it. I'm gonna remember it for a long time. Player. Vinny. Huh. It almost would have said Pino at the end there. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. Wait a minute. Really? Oh, fuck. Pokey. Hello, Pokey. Oh, no, it's not Pokey. It's the other dude. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It's dressed in this. There's no stamp, and it's well, not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. Why is Pokey not the most reviled villain in the face of video games? Like, I hate Pokey more than I hate Cronando. I mean, I, you know, Ganondorf. Really interesting journey we've taken. And uh, I've, I've loved Earthbound. And so, more good games to look forward to in the future. And Mother 3 could happen in the next year or two. You never know. So it's just, you know, it may be one day. So, great time. Great art. And I am glad that you guys stopped by. But uh, I'm done. Good night. And... Thanks for watching. See you soon. Doing.